Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and I want to talk about uh, High Loon Piano um, innovations. The first one is, uh, is pretty cool. It's, it's called the Safety Ease or, or the Lit Assist. It was actually inspired by a guy that, uh, um, that saw someone get their hand injured by this very, very heavy lid. Um, so he invented that, uh, let's get a shot of that, um, those hinges that, that look, um, if you look at them carefully, you can see, oh, what is that? But let me demonstrate that. Okay, so uh, now I have the lid prop out, and just let it go. And that is a um, pretty awesome innovation. Um, it makes it uh, obviously safe, so you don't get your hand crushed, but also it makes it uh, very, very, easy to lift up. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is uh, what, what they're doing on, um, on their P series. That's kind of their, their high-end upright version, uh, their, their up, uh, version of their uprights. They're doing an aluminum key bed, which the key bed is everything under the key. So I have this HU5P uh, um, pulled apart to, to show it to you. So the key bed is essentially everything that is supporting the keys and supporting the action. All of that depends on the key bed. And so traditionally, for literally hundreds of years, the key bed has been wood, which, which changes shape and warps and, and you know, expands and contracts. Not that much, but enough. Even, even a slight change will ripple through the system and throw everything off, and it does. But aluminum, making that key bed out of aluminum, of course, will not have that effect. And so that's, uh, that's something that High Loon is doing. You can see the aluminum <coughs> key bed right there. And <coughs> if I take these out, see the aluminum key bed right there. So that's, um, that is no small um, innovation. Then uh, you have, uh, this, is, this, this is not so much of an innovation. In fact, I'll, I'll show you the uh, Petrov piano in, in just a second. Uh, a graphs in the bass. That's for, for an upright in particular. That's that's a big deal. Um, and then uh, right here, you have this this rod that is underneath these strings. That's the termination point of the speaking length of the strings here. That it's it's kind of it's it's maybe a little bit hard to see underneath the rod. There's kind of a, a little it's the rod is nestled in a little cove, that is uh, um, that is uh, nestling that uh, um, that little rod. To and the purpose of that is is to have absolute precision in the termination point. Um, oh, and, and they they also have. Let's get a shot down here a full perimeter plate which usually the plate which is the um, the main support of all of this vast amount of tension it's about 18 tons of tension when you when you sum all of the tension of each of these strings about 220 strings at about 160 pounds of tension each the the plate is what supports that anyway m most manufacturers they have the 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 plate only is, is kind of this weird triangle shape where it comes down here and then it goes across and then it goes up here. But with High Loon, they've got, they've got a full perimeter where it goes, you've got the plate that comes up here on this side and then over here on that side. Um, another thing that you can see in my factory tours, I've got a whole um, uh, like 52, something like that, videos from, from the tour that I, that I took at the factory. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah, something that they're doing in their gluing process, it's, it's like an electric gluing process where they were, um, they were gluing the, uh, the back posts and the pin block. And it's some sort of a glue where, where they send like super, super high current through this special glue and it, and it locks everything together. It's, it's, I guess, kind of a weird analogy, but it's kind of like, almost like welding wood in a sense. With, with that super high intensity electric, and 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 it and it, uh, it it creates just an ultra ultra stable um, piano. Something that I've actually seen on quite a few pianos. My son actually rebuilt one um, last summer, where the the strings had 
the, the tension of the strings have pulled the pin block away from the back post and the back structure. Um, and, and there was about an inch gap at the top here. And we've, and we've actually since come across another one. And what we determined was that was too much. So we just threw that piano away. But, uh, but with this, this gluing process that, that they have, um, that could not happen possibly. And the only, the only thing that I wanted to show you, um, there, there's actually quite, quite a few others innovations that, that Hyloon does that are, that are really pretty cool. Check them out um, in, uh, in my, my factory tour uh, videos. But I just wanted to show you here, this is a Petrov. This is a very, very high quality. This is what would be considered an excellent piano in the excellent category. They too have A graphs um, as, at the termination point um, like Hyloon does in the, in the bass section. Um, which is which is kind of a kind of a big deal. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm if I'm missing any big ones. Uh, again, you oh so of course stability. This is this is something that you'd have to check out the the, the factory tour to kind of get a feel of. But uh, um, a lot of people ask me about stability and long term. First of all, uh, it's been since 2010 that I've I've been. Um, affiliated and a big fan of, of this of this piano of, of Hailun, and I've personally been the piano technician that has gone and serviced many 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 of these of these pianos that, that I've sold hundreds of them that I've sold in the in the area. So I guess that's the first thing that I would say um, about about stability and about longevity, the endurance of these pianos, is that I've seen it firsthand. This is not something that I've read about. This is not something that I went to a um, you know, a, a, a sales rah rah pump you up kind of thing. They don't even have those. But this is something that I've experienced firsthand. This is my own personal expert um, uh, opinion or observation, I should say, about about uh, the the longevity. They hold up amazing. I've I've personally serviced all of these hundreds of pianos that are that are. Um, closing in on a decade now, and they've held up incredibly well. So I have no, no compunction whatsoever about, about their holding up. So, so the question is why, how it is, you know, that um, I'm not totally sure how they've done it. Um, I guess that would be, uh, I, I have some ideas about maybe how they've done it. Um, again, check out the factory tour, one, one big deal that uh, that I saw at the factory was their seasoning of their of their wood. They've got they've got um, giant kilns and uh, and literally hundreds of, of soundboards and other components of pianos that they're seasoning, kind of pre-seasoning and, and pre-drying in their in their kiln, and they and they wait. They're very specified. It's it's all very um, engineered and, and studied and scientific um, to uh, to ensure. The long-term stability of, of the wooden components. So that's that's kind of one theory. Um, I have others about how they've done it so well, but ultimately it doesn't really matter why. It's just that what I've seen personally and what I've read about online and kind of talking to other other people like myself that have that have serviced a lot of high pianos in other parts of the country. They've they've had the exact same experience that I have. So so from a st stability standpoint, no concerns whatsoever. So. Um, Pretty, pretty awesome company, one that, one that I'm definitely a heart and soul believer in. Thanks for watching.